Welcome back, everyone. We got some stuff to sell. We're also probably going to want to talk to that apothecary at some point, just for plot progression reasons. I'm still bummed out I can't go back to cat people town to be with other cat people. Not just because I'm a cat people, but also because I want to buy some stuff there. And maybe somewhere else, too. But, what I can do There is another person I had to talk to, so. Did I ever mention that? Does anyone ever mention that place to me by name? Yeah, I figured they will find. Oh, what? Oh, but someone's making a flying machine right now, aren't they? No! Crowd shop, yes. <laughs> no. Why can only I use this grenade? It's very strange. It's a cute grenade, wonderful. Supernova, see, there we go. Interesting. Uh, this is the place to sell grenades, I guess. Not for much. We'll drop those earlier if I realized how long it was sold for. Okay, but I do want to go to this guy at the docks who has all sorts of scrolls. One person, at least one person changed their stock too, so I should check in on everyone else as well. Do with you. I'm going to an earth place now. That would give me some motivation for earth, but instead I should look up what scrolls are available. If I can know what magic is available for each type of alignment, yeah, that would help me make that that decision. I do not need bubble blast, in fact I want to sell you two of them. Man, they sell you... It's a large premium in price, though. I probably won't go dark, because that means spending a lot of extra money on making myself dark aligned. I wonder if dark magic is really useful. Because it costs more to go down the dark route. <laughs> Look at all that bubble. Simple fire room. This one else sets it off. That doesn't sound very nice. Or useful to me, honestly. Being able to use some offensive magic that isn't fire could be nice. And I imagine I'll find a number of dark enemies throughout the game, so I think going for light would be a good idea. Region. Ooh! Better healing. Any kind of healing would be very appealing to me. Shield, that's interesting too. Although I'm not sure if it will be as helpful. I wish there was a better description of just like what kinds of benefits you can expect from each element. Like this element will generally give you healing. This will give you better offense or I did stuff or something. I don't know if they really do have that kind of pattern though across different types of magical alignments. See, like, all these have runes you can drop, apparently. I can't have that, which is very unfortunate. Regenerate. So that's just a, a, a poor regen. There's that. Scorch. Which I don't need. Well, unless these are low-level things I don't need now. Not that I don't necessarily have to have some low-level, say... Eh, I don't think I need, really need low-level magic of most sorts, since I have wands for that. So... This can probably enemies. I don't know if I have much use for that. I, I'd be alright with just doing... I don't know, I haven't experimented much with status effects or anything, I'm just setting things on fire. Don't I know if I want to set down mines or anything like that? That would cost a... Well, actually, I don't, I don't think I could actually become... I don't think I could actually learn to use this right now. Because I would need two. 
I need two orbs for that of, of earth. Rocks. Why don't I have lava spray again? I'm actually not sure. But this could be good for me. I do I really need imagine this on fire right now though? Really, all I want is healing. So that that's, heals me. But I can't get it right now. So I think I still haven't found a case where I can actually use healing magic. So is there any level one magic for anything I would like to use right now? Level two, level two, level two. Okay, level one. Can't use dark. At least only guy because I have to get multiple. At least right now I can't access dark because I need to buy multiple orbs worth. I already have fire. I can become faster. I don't know if I care about that. That fire is poison. Yeah. I can't use that, unfortunately, as much as I'd like it. Snare. Not really. Can't use that. Slow enemies. Whatever. Can't use that. Fire boulders. Whatever. Zap. None of these actually appeal to me yet. So out of the thing, there are things that appeal to me, but I can't access them. And other things just don't appeal to me. So I think for the time being, I'll just leave that be. <laughs> Missing what? Guardians, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm making them not missing if that counts for anything. <laughs> what can I do for you? Apparently nothing. <laughs> A staff only I can use for some reason. I don't know why that would be. Ah! Yes! They're made for me. They still only do 8 to 12 damage. Why is that? Why do these all do such terrible damage? And yet it costs more than the staff. Mace. <laughs> Why though? Why would I want this mace? It's actually a good deal of damage. I, I probably shouldn't splurge on this thing if I'm not going to actually use it. Why would I want this? And hey, these are actually claws, which is really cool. So punching things, cool, <laughs> your delicate fists. But why would I want them? What would be useful about them? How much do these ones even sell for? 420. Not much at all. These cost a lot, but like you don't have much range? They don't do much damage? What's the point? I'm not sure what the point of punching is, as much as I'd like to use it. Especially for the Meowclaw specifically. That doesn't need to do much damage. Yeah, I don't think there's much point in most of these. I might have to sell this. Although just it hurts me to say. So, even though it's interesting to see new stuff here, I don't think any of it is useful for me. This is really, I mean, they're really expensive for one. But it doesn't look like they even do that much damage. Like six to 18. 6 to 18. And worth a lot less for some reason. Like, why is it worth so much? Is there something special about these things that are my brand, so to speak? <laughs> no wizard looks complete without intimidating staff. I get that, although I feel like my staff should be elemental because I'm all magic oriented. That's why I have this looking, crazy looking thing. I think that's a more, more intimidating staff, isn't it? That's spiky. This is pretty cool. Also, my fire page. I think I'll leave that there. I'll also equip my awesome looking fire staff. I just don't see a reason for any of these yet, and they cost so, so much. So, I'm not gonna go for that yet. I will head east. 
and see what other stuff the other shop people might have. Because I, I did kind of forget someone over there, I think. I didn't look at all the shops in the east section. Which I probably should have done. If you actually had any new crossbows or any new stuff at all. Really cool sling, I guess. Okay. Fine sling. <laughs> you just have food, which I really have no need for. <laughs> you only actually have new wands, which is kind of weird. <laughs> I don't have anything for her yet. You got a TR for me. Light Fez. Fire Fez. So you got Fezes of all sorts. Awesome. Hey, Earth Fez might not be a bad idea right now, actually. And a tiara. I don't know what for. I don't know where to find that special die, by the way, in case you're wondering. Golden donut fruit. Wonderful. Bees are spilling out. Hey, you like imagine things, apparently. Do you like imagine pies? Not really. No, this food is worth anything. Okay. In that case... Down south they go then to do some training. It's... And you just burn the time away doing all this inventory management stuff and whatnot and selling and buying things. I don't mean to spend so much time on these, but it's important stuff. And this is when you decide how you're going to play the game. It's probably kind of weird that I'm still using level 1 light magic right now, but... Eh. I don't have anything better to heal myself with! Except for consumable items, of course. There is one person I'm kind of curious about. Where is that guy? There's one guy who talks to himself a bit, if you talk to him. I think he was over here, though. Yeah, Pete. And no. Yeah, I wasn't sure if that was meant to imply that there might be something interesting to talk about with him later or not. Apparently not. I swear though, the map is getting corrupted here. It looks fine here. But look, look above me, for instance. Like where I'm pointing right now on the map. I don't know, it's getting filled in now. I don't know, it's like sometimes... There you go. Maybe I just haven't filled in that part of the map? I don't know. But I've been here. Never <laughs> mind. I forgot. So I forgot entirely about that guy. Okay. Who is making those noises? Oh! No, the sound of your pet 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 walking around sounds like somebody throwing things. It's kind of weird. That's like stuff whizzing through the air. Okay. We basically don't have time. So tomorrow's a training montage, I guess. By tomorrow, I mean next episode. Well, we have a lot of money, so I'll probably bet burn a lot of it on this. But hopefully we'll get to this fight pretty quickly because our bow, if nothing else, is stupid strong. In fact, right now, real quick, I will switch to my preferred weapon loadout so I don't have to keep changing back every time I restart the fight. There we go. Uh, do I want this thing? It looks cool, but it's not actually what I really need right now. I instead want... Oh, I never... Darn it! I never sold that wand! I'll, I'll go sell, sell that wand off screen, and I'll be back with a proper weapon loadout to start the next. So.
set of grinding and it will hopefully be able to finish in one episode. Okay, bye everyone.